Welcome to scoreboard tutorial number three, which is the Nova Studio uh, application that we use for uh, advertising and um, other logos and such for the teams. So we're going to open it up. It's on the main scoreboard computer. We're going to hover over the taskbar. Nova Studios is this little icon here that is multicolored. It'll say Nova Studio if you hover over it, click on it. It's going to open and you'll notice on the scoreboard as it's opening, the boxes show up for the software that overlaps the main scoreboard software. And then we're back to the window that we need to upload. So we're going to see scroll text, rotate ads, home and guest. These are each their own boxes that are on the board. The home and guest are the boxes that are above the score numbers. The scroll text is below the timer, the long skinny box. And then the bottom box below the period number is the rotating ads. So I'm going to show you how to upload all of them. So we're going to go to the scroll text. It's already on there. Common window one. Go over to the add media. Select add media. File. First summon arena. Then hit OK. Then up here, press play and apply. And you'll notice on the scoreboard, it is set up with First Summon Arena logo. So now we're going to go to the next tab, which is Rotate Ads. You'll switch to it, comma window one, add media, file, scoreboard scroll ads, hit open, and hit play and apply. And you'll notice the bottom box will start playing the rotating ads. They'll loop over and over. They don't stop. Same thing with the other box that we just did. The for Sun Arena logo would keep coming up in different ways. Um, now we're going to start adding the teams. So we'll go to the Home tab. Then Common Window 1. We're going to do the text box first. So we'll do File. Well, actually, we'll do the images first for the Tomahawks. File. We're going to go to, just to get into the habit, uh, Documents, NAHL scoreboard logos, Johnstown Tomahawks. We'll select the first three, hit open, play, and apply. And you'll see the images will rotate. And they'll just start, they'll just keep looping over and over. Now for the guest, we're gonna do the other way, which is just the text. I mean, you can do it on both sides, but just for this tutorial, just for an example, we'll go to the guest tab, common window one, add media. Oh, whoops, I need to go back, cancel and media, simple text. You're gonna see a text box below here. You're gonna put in, we'll just put guest. One, two, three, G-E-S-T. We will make it 72 for size. The color will change it to white. Um, we don't need to do any of that. Just hit play and apply. And you'll see guest has popped up on the other side. You can edit it any way you want. There was one more thing I was supposed to do. Make it bold. So to make it bold, hit the letter B button on there. It'll make it bold. Any change you make, you have to hit apply and then it just made it bolder. Now to, to remove logos and such, we'll go back to the home, home tab where the Tomahawks are. We're going to um, highlight all three, hit the X button for delete media, yes. And then we will go ahead and add the other text box 
simple text down here. Then same thing. Seventy two bold. We want it white font. And then we're gonna hit apply. It's a little off center, so I'm gonna just move it over a little bit. So after you do some of the editing back and forth with it, um, just always make sure you hit apply and then it'll update on the board. I hope this video helps you in the near future.